pounds. As a professional, his impressive record stands with 10 victories against only one defeat. All 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He wears red trimmed with black and represents Merdita, Albania. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian K.P. Pranga. instructions earlier as a reminder obey my commands at all times protect yourself at all times touch gloves good luck harvey doc officiating this battle of the big boys deshaun webster in the black shorts and christian kp prenga in the ren and michael <laughs> we talked about the loud ovation that he got and looking towards his corner with his supporters and then you kind of gesture to me they're all around the arena right now. It's yeah. incredible how many fans and supporters Pranga has brought with him here yeah, tonight. Yeah, he's, he's brought a lot. He's brought a lot. I know a, um, a, a guy from my my hometown. Uh, he's he's Albanian, but he doesn't he he, he doesn't bring that, that much of a crowd. Um, so he so he'll so he'll fight on the B side, and some, he'll, he'll, sometimes they'll win, sometimes they'll lose. But like this type of this type of uh, fan this type of fanfare early in your career like this is really good, you know. And he's a heavyweight. That, He'll be this, he'll be easy to sell as long as he's performing and with 10, 10 knockouts and, and ten victories, he'll be easy to sell. For Pranga, this is his first fight since twenty twenty one, a first round knockout of Samuel Miller in Colombia, and that fight was after a three year layoff. And obviously, that's a commonality with so many boxers either having difficulties finding fights during the pandemic or just not able to fight at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pandemic slowed down uh, everything. Even I myself was accustomed to fighting four times a year. And it turned into I, I fought one. I fought once last August. Pranga, Pranga with the decisive height and weight advantage over his opponent Webster. Well, if you, well, if you look at I was looking at Webster's resume. Some noteworthy names in this fight. Uh, Steven Nelson, Samuel Clarkson, Ali Akhmedov, but the kick the kicker is these are all super middleweights. These are all super middleweights as far as high maybe as far as high as a uh, light heavyweight. So, you know well maybe uh, I guess Webster hasn't been in the gym or maybe he had to get bigger to find fights, whatever whatever it is, but you know, the biggest names he's fought has are nowhere close to heavyweights. Well here tonight, Michael, we're looking at a by way in 42 pound difference between the two fighters yeah 40 42 pounds that means he's naturally he should at least be fighting at cruiserweight you know that for that 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 42 that 42 pounds and if he if he decides to like lean lean on webster and everything that's when that's when he's going to fill it we've seen a healthy dose of those overhand rights oh given that decisive height advantage over webster or pranga We talked about that three-year layoff for him. That was after his best win over Swedish heavyweight Aldo Coliander. And we talked about the Albanian boxing yeah. scene. Names like Florian Marku, Uramal Hadrabia. And you could peg KP Prenga right on that list. And you see the following here he has tonight at 2300 Arena. Yeah. He shot there by, by Webster. Yeah, it's, it's a nice uh, quick shot in there. That'll do for round one. Round two when we return on Flow Combat. Tonight's event presented by King's Promotions and Fight. Round two underway. Deshaun All Bite No Bark Webster, a six year professional who did open his career at a sterling 9 0 with six knockouts. But fighting a boxer, perhaps. A little too big, yeah. but a little too tall. Yeah, but no, but Webster's landing good shots, though. You got, you got to see. Despite that 42 pound weight, never, never mind. And that's gonna do it. That's what oh, he's, count, he's waiting count. for. They're counting. But you saw the awe-inspiring power there by Pranga. And that's that additional 42 pounds that he that he put on his temple. 
Weston needs to try to tie him up. Weston needs to try to tie him up. You keep an eye out on Harvey Dock and how long he's going to let this one go. Webster had been getting inside position on Prenga, landing some clean shots, but all it took was one massive over right hook by Prenga to shake Webster. Now Harvey Dock actively looking on and see if he needs to get it. Ooh. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. That's it. Harvey Dock steps in and KP Prenga. pays off this loud and raucous crowd here at 2300 Arena. We saw the power. We saw the height, the weight. And now you're seeing that KP Pringa has fans in all corners of this arena. Yes. And they were treated to an absolute display of power. Yeah, they are very happy. I don't know where Marshall found him. <laughs> that guy, that guy can go far. He has a big punch. He's of a good, he's of a good stature. He can go, he can go far very quickly as a heavyweight. You know, the heavyweight division is always, uh, is always shifting and changing. That's the one. No, that's not the one. Right back ahead. This is the, this is the last knockdown. Beautiful uppercut. And the uppercut got in because the first shot he threw was an overhand right. So now when you start looking for an overhand right, nobody's thinking about an uppercut next. We talked about the height and the weight that Webster was giving out, giving up rather, to Christian Brenga. And after that big overright hook, yeah. it, it was, just seemed like a matter of time. Yeah, I, I was going to say before he landed that first big shot that, you know, uh, Webster wasn't uh, shying away from it, but, uh, shying away from uh, Brenga due to his size. But then... You saw why he should have. Well, we saw Webster, and again, that's all we had the conversation about the different variations of boxers at the heavyweight division. You have some of the big boys, the big sluggers, but then you have your athletic, maybe a little smaller, maybe a little lighter, but their ability to move, their ability to stick. We saw a little bit of that, but then again, all we were waiting for and all Christian Prango was waiting for was that one decisive shot yeah. and he got just that and after that you knew it was an inevitability yeah i mean webster was landing good shots i mean they would they would land better at a, at a lower weight class i mean he should consider he should consider if he's coming at 205 he should definitely consider cruiserweight he was landing good shots he looked sharp he had he had good skills with him i think he was just a little he was just too small all right we'll go back into the ring with our ring announcer, Mark Prado. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, one minute, nine seconds in round number two. Your winner, by knockout, from Mirzita, Albania, Christian K.P. Pringa. Michael, when you look, at KP Prenga, his profile as a heavyweight boxer, what do you like? And how far can you see Prenga going in this wide open heavyweight division? Um, like I say, he can go very far. He has he has the punch, he has the punch, he has the size, um, and he has the skill set. He has the skill set, you know. So well, so what a, so I mean he's with he's with a good promoter in Marshall Kaufman, you see the uh, KP on his on his logo. Um, so he can go far, especially, you know, you can see him on the, maybe soon on a PBC show. That, I'm going to cut right through the guard. That, that, that's skill right there. That's not just a lucky punch. That was skill the way he slid that through his guard. We, uh, we also got to say we're glad, we're glad that uh, Webster is okay. He's walking out of here on his own power, so that should be known. That should be made known. That was the immediate concern when he went down, and he went down hard and heavy, but like you said, walking out of the ring on his own, so an encouraging sign at that, but this fight, as you hear the Albanian music continuing to blare around the 2300 arena, and look, we've seen local Philadelphia products here before. I don't know if we've ever seen a boxer bring this kind of a crowd here. This is incredible to see, but again, I... We're talking about a burgeoning boxing scene from Albania. KP Pringa from Merdita, Albania. He's 
base out of Niagara Falls, but clearly bringing a loud, a large and loud contingent here with him. Yeah, tonight. yeah, he definitely had a, he had a traveling fan base. That's another thing that's going to get him get the ball rolling really fast. Lots of promoters like boxers that can bring a draw, and you're seeing his adoring fans, a lot of Albanian flags, and certainly a party that's going to last long into the night here in Philadelphia. So glad you can join us for all this action here on Flow Combat, Fight Night Live, alongside the professor Michael Fox, Sadiq Faruqi, 